Hello, my name is Elise Parento Garcia, and I'm the Career Counselor and Coordinator for the Reedley College Career and Employment Center. I just wanted to walk you through the resources that we have on our Career and Employment Center page for career exploration. So I'm going to go ahead and demo a little bit of what each of the links and sites does. So I'll go ahead and start to share this presentation. So to access the Career and Employment Center webpage and the resources, you would go to the Reedley College homepage. You'd hover over the Student Services link and then select Career and Employment Center, or you can simply follow this link here and you will see our page. So here is just some general information about our center. Um, currently, our center is closed due to the COVID-19 um, virus. However, we are offering online services. You can reach us um, by contacting us via email. So that is cec at readlycollege.edu. If you are an undeclared major or wanting to switch your major, you can contact me and schedule an appointment with me here. Or if you're looking for a job or need a resume or any type of job development resources and information, you can contact our job developer, Karina Perez Guzman, and you can schedule an appointment to meet with her on our site as well. You'll see our resources listed in the middle of the page. Here's for job search, internships, and resume development. So you could click this link. But what I'm going to highlight today is the career exploration tab. So if you click here, it's going to open up all of these resources. So you can go through and um, provide yourself with lots of entertainment and resources and great information as you're doing career exploration. I find the more educated and the more aware a student becomes, the better decision-making process um, they have and the more resources they have that they can utilize and determine really what route they wanna go and some of those career opportunities. So I'm gonna head back over and go through these one by one. So the first one on our page is the California Career Cafe site. And so it's a virtual cafe that has lots of tools where you can identify career direction. There's support along the way. There's little videos embedded along with some activity sheets that you can use. So I'll show you what the site looks like. So you can start with the start button and you can go through and look at your strengths, your interest area, options, goals. In the exploration tab, there's some um, quick assessments that you can take and it looks at your five-year goals and plans. And then over here, we have some ways that you could get in contact with mentors opportunities for volunteering, interning, et cetera. And then here's some of that resume, job search, and um, various job-related resources. So if we just look at the Explore tab and get started, um, if you really don't know where you wanna begin, this would be a great place to start. If you kind of think you know what you wanna do, but you're not sure like what career outcomes you want, um, or if you know exactly what you want to do, you can follow this link, but um, it's going to have you do some assessments and look at your plan. So you can, you can navigate this site on your own, but there's videos here and there's ways that you can take some assessments right here uh, from the luxury of a cell phone, a tablet, or laptop or computer. So that's the uh, excuse me, Career Cafe site. We also have a site called, what can I do with this major? Now for this tool, you do have to go onto our website in order to access it. Um, this is an online resource tool that has some really unique items. It basically will open up a career cluster of various majors. And then from there, you can detail in and find out more about career outcomes, job opportunities, maybe employers. And I love it has some strategies and tips that students can start doing now. So let's say we're looking at business and we want to go into management. 
here it has the various areas broken down. So here's just general management and it gives a list of potential jobs as well as employers. We know business is very broad, so it has lots of information, but it gives some strategies, things that you could do now. So be prepared to start in entry level management and then maybe work your way up, complete an internship or co-op in management. So these are some things you can start to do now. Hold leadership positions on campus. So join a club and within that club, hold a, a position of, um, of leadership. So like the president, secretary, vice president, et cetera. So it gives additional strategies there. Then we can look um, as we scroll down. Another area you could go into with management is human resource management. Again, it gives some types of positions, employers, and then strategies. So here it recommends to take a psych or sociology course. It talks about communication skills, which are very important. And then you see as you continue down, it has additional areas. So sales, insurance, real estate, there's lots of options, but I wanna show you it leads all the way down to this general information. So again, this is great information and it's ways that you can start getting a jump start on your career now and some of that experience and exposure. So you know, it talks about being willing to relocate and you know, take on entry level positions, consider earning a master's in business administration after you have some work experience to really take your uh, position to the next level. It also has professional association links here. Oftentimes, professional associations are free for students to join, or they may have a nominal small fee, um, but they usually are less than if you were just to go in as a general member. But they have up-to-date information on the career. They typically have career updates and advancement. If there's any changes set to take place in a particular career, it'll have um, the latest information there. This links to the Occupational Outlook Handbook, which I will talk about in just a second. It's one of my favorite resources, and so I'll go over that in greater detail. But then it also has related resources, including job employment opportunities. So feel free to navigate through any of these resources as well. So that's another great tool available on our website. Additionally, we have California Career Zone. So when you go here, you can create an account and you can go through some of the assessments. You can also look at money management tips. Uh, it has a neat little activity for you to identify what type of lifestyle do you wanna lead? You know, as far as necessities, do you want, you know, top of the line? Are you looking for the latest and greatest? Or are you okay with, you know, the basics? And so it talks to you about what you would need in order to earn to fulfill that lifestyle and, and to lead that lifestyle. So that's another one um, where you can go on and do career assessments and money management exploration. The Occupational Outlook Handbook, I had just mentioned that when we were on what can I do with this major. The easiest way to access this site is literally to open up a Google um, browser, utilize Chrome so that way you can access the videos, but just simply type in OOH and it should be the first one that populates. It is housed through the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, so it is looking at information nationwide, but you can look at career clusters here, or you can be specific and put in, you know, if you're wanting to look at a median pay range or the type of education needed, or you can simply do a search in this search bar as well. You can access this both um, on a handheld device or on a laptop or computer. So if we're looking at, let's say, um, psychology, you pull this up and you can pull up psychologists. And I love the summary, how it's set up. So it gives you quick facts and then a one to two sentence overview from each of these areas. So what do they do, the work environment, how to become one, the national pay, outlook, 
state and, and local area data along with similar occupations. And then it also links you to another tool that's called the ONET, a great additional tool for you to do some exploration. But um, it does have one to two minute concise videos. And you'll see these links take you to additional information or these tabs at the top. So it's the same information, but it gives you a better overview of what a psychologist would do, their work environment. One of my favorite features is the similar occupations. So sometimes these are occupations that students don't always think of, and maybe there's more opportunities within them because they're not so saturated with students. But you can see a market research analyst, maybe a marriage and family therapist, um, physicians, surgeons, teachers, career and school counselors, social workers. So there's lots of additional information that it'll link you to. So maybe you're wondering, okay, how does this relate or you know compare with social work? So you can go on here and do exploration that way as well. So this is the Occupational Outlook Handbook. Road Trip Nation is a grant that we received um, to be able to access this site through our California Chancellor's Office. So in order to navigate through this tool, you can just click on the link on our page. And then when you log in, you will have to create an account. And to do so, you are going to need to access it via this online link. So you will have to oops, select the RC19 for the access code in order to view this information. It's going to ask you a couple of questions about your interest, and then it'll roll right into some content from career professionals. So this site was started um, by a couple of guys. They had completed their degree and they were getting ready to start their their careers and they really didn't know where to go and where to start. So what they did was they, they decided to purchase an older RV and they painted it bright green and they started traveling the United States and they researched and did videos and interviews of career professionals. And so it's really getting you behind the scenes, getting to hear some content from these career professionals about what they did to get started, their educational journey, just their overall career journey. And um, so it's a professional YouTube, if you will, there are some that are not in video format. It's just kind of written out so you can read through those as well. But it's a great tool if you don't have any contacts in the field that you're interested in pursuing. Or if you do have some contacts, but you're wanting to kind of get a broader scope, you can go through here and hear from several content experts. So this is another really friendly um, tool for you to navigate on our site. Type focus is the career assessment that our center utilizes. So it has some assessments. They're not tests. They're career assessments to um, get a gauge of where your strengths are. It looks at your personality and your interest areas. And then from there, it links you with potential careers. So if you're really uncertain or if you're considering a change of major, I would highly recommend that you go on to type focus and you complete the assessments. I would then recommend to follow up with me so that way I can help you and do some interpretation of the assessments and then we can further explore. In order to create an account, you will have to use this access code that you see here. So for this, you would go to typefocus.com, create your account. I recommend to utilize your student information, so your Readly College email, as well as your password, which are your initials and your birth date, and then put in the RC55 in the code, so that way you can take these assessments for free. So it's based on, these assessments are based on the Myers-Briggs type indicator, as well as the RIASEC, also known as the Holland Code. So these are validated instruments for career exploration. So this is another great tool that is embedded onto our webpage. 
that's it. So I just wanted to briefly show you some of the tools and how you could navigate them to help in your career exploration process. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us. And um, we look forward to hopefully seeing you on campus in the near future. We wish you well, and we, we hope to see you soon. Take care.